Hi again people, back once more, so soon after my previous little video, but damn, that arrow deal was just too good, it's lured me back for five more, their five to 35 pound deal on the selected DVD titles, and I grabbed a bunch more before the deal ended, while I've got the money, and they arrived this morning, surprisingly, I ordered these Thursday, and yeah, they didn't waste no time shipping them out, unlike, unlike my previous order from them. We had to wait a bit longer because some of the things I wanted were out of stock. But I'm not much waiting around this time, which is great. And yeah, let's get on with this then. Five more arrow goodness. And the first one I got was Inferno, 30th anniversary edition. Um, I already had this on the Blue Underground label from the US because at the time you couldn't get this in an uncut in the UK. Um, I think the scene with the cats, when they're being thrown around, I think that was shortened. And the scene of the cat eating the mouse wasn't in it, even in it. So, I've got the uncut US release, and it's not a bad edition, you know. It's uncut, you get it in widescreen, you get the interview with Argento. But, Inferno's a video nasty, and I want to get good editions of the video nasties. And, you know, Arrows is awesome, you know. Excellent release, as always. And, um, as for the film itself, you know, it's pretty good. Not as good as Suspiria. Um, things are a bit strange. Things aren't really explained in, in, a, in a great amount of detail. But it's got some vicious violence and it's a good film to look at. Let's open this up. Um, unfortunately, the, um, yeah, the case got a bit squashed. That's due to arrows. Um, I mean, they ship out their five DVDs and they've squeezed them all into a jiffy bag. It's ridiculous. They should use a card box or something. But anyway, the uh, case itself isn't damaged, it's just a slip case, it's got a few crease marks. So it's a two disco. You get a bunch of art cards which are still sealed, but not for long, I'll open those up later. For my own pleasure. Um, you get a book which isn't very thick actually, it's about eight pages or six pages. And the poster. Not really complaining though. No. It's always nice to have a booklet. So that's Inferno. First one of this latest arrow order. Next up is City of the Living Dead, 30th anniversary edition. Um, once again, I had this on the Vipco label in the UK. And to be fair to be fair to Vipco, it was probably their best ever release. They did. You know, the film was uncut. It was in widescreen. He had a commentary track on there and a fairly long interview with Catherine McCall. And I believe those special features were exclusive to the Vipco release. I think they may have been passed over to the Arrow edition now, but you know, there's nothing too wrong with this release. But, of course, Arrow, they've lavished it with lots of special features in the package. You know, it's, it's awesome, as always. And, you know, the film itself, it's not my favourite from Fulci. I've only seen it once, though, and I remember being a bit disappointed by it. Um, apart from those two famous scenes of gore, which are awesome, nothing much happens during the first hour. Uh, you know, th things move along a bit slowly, but you no, know, things pick up during the last half an hour. You know, a bit of head smashing, you know, a crazy little ending. Good atmosphere there. So it's two discs. Once again, bunch of art cards, nice book, and the poster, which will probably go on my wall. I put all my arrow posters up on the wall recently. So that's City of the Living Dead. I'll give this another chance. May watch it tomorrow night. So, City Living Dead. Okay, next up, it's Day of the Dead, 25th anniversary edition. Really pleased with this release from Arrow. Um, but I already had a decent edition. You know, I had the old Anchor Bay Divi Max edition, which looks brilliant. So I'll probably keep it. But I, I don't know. I can't really spare the space at the moment to have two editions of each film. But this is really nice. Nothing wrong with this. But I've, I've got the um, the Dawn of the Dead Arrow release in my previous video, which I showed. And that was really nice, really smart. And it was a digipack as well. And I was very pleased to find out that this one's also a digipack. Um, unlike the Blu-ray releases, which come in keep cases. And this is really nice. But you only get the two artwork options on this one. You get that one. And this one. But yeah, really nice edition. Opens up like this. Uh, two disco. You get the comic book. Um, really looking forward to reading through that. 
get the film notes from Callum Waddell. And the poster. Uh, unfortunately, the, the um, disc tray is broken, so this disc is loose. I have to glue that back together, I think. If I can find a loose piece, I can hear it rolling around somewhere, but... Oh, there it's down, it's down there. If I can get this out, glue it back together. But anyway, yeah, excellent release. Really pleased with it. Uh, the film itself, I still prefer Dawn of the Dead, but this film, you know, I've appreciated it the more I've watched it. Because I wasn't a big fan the first time I, I watched it. So, I watched this a few days ago actually on TV, it was on UK TV. And yeah, really good film. Excellent looking zombies and excellent gore. So that's the way they have the dead. Okay, next one is the card player from Dario Argento. Um, haven't seen this yet, no. But it's one for the Argento collection. I've heard it isn't too good actually, but I've, I've read mixed reviews. You know, it's one of his recent films from 2004, I believe. And the last good film I saw from Argento was Sleepless. Back in 2000, I think. 2001. But you no, know, it looks alright. Love the artwork on this. It's great. Can't wait to get the poster up. Uh, special features wise, you get a making of and. Uh, yeah, not much else. But of course you get the reversible sleeve. Uh, you get the book. And the poster. So that's the car player. Okay, and the last one. Uh, something completely different now. It's Deadly Outlaw Wrecker. Japanese Yakuza movie from Takashi Mike. Or Mike, whatever you want to say. Um, yeah, um... You know, Takeshi, you know, his films are a bit hit and miss with me. I prefer his, mer his more disturbing horror st kind of stuff. His Yakuza films are a bit a bit too long-winded, a bit too slow. Um, but I thought I'd give it a go. I've got a fairly sized collection of Takeshi Mike films now. This is another one to the collection. Uh, special features on this. Oh, you get interviews with the director. Um, that's it really. But it's uncut. Get a book and the poster and the reversible sleeve. So there you have it. That is my final one from this Arrow update, my second one in in a week. I'll probably leave it at, at that for now. Um, I've got a few things on pre-order. Uh, oh, Arrow announced they're releasing pieces in September. Fucking delighted about that. Made my year. Wow. And they're also releasing Midnight in August. Late August. And Slaughter High is out next week. Well, no, the 11th of July. But hopefully I'll get my pre order in early. You know, HMV like to send them out early. So, so yeah, Slaughter High, hopefully next week. So that's it then. I'll leave, it this here. leave this here. As always, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Enjoy your weekend. Right?